Here we're going to change the battery on this VW Passat when you start it. Sometimes it's sort of struggling to start, very slow turning. Lift the bar up, got the battery right here. Lift this. And tuck that back there somewhere to stay. And middle bolts on each side. I'll undo the negative first. As you're lifting her up, try and keep it level. little bit of persuasion you can use like a screwdriver or something like this just to uh, slide it up press that against there to hold it now we're gonna lift out this blanket Got a 13 millimeter bolt down the bottom on a clamp. Now we've got a 13 millimeter on an extended ratchet. Just get that in there. And here's your bracket. Place that to the side. And we should be able to just lift it out. in a replacement this is a stop start AGM battery so it needs to be replaced with the same type Down nice and tight. Well, we forgot something here, haven't we? The blanket. Now put that back on. Protects it in the cold. And the terminal is back off for a minute. Before I put the blanket on, I'm gonna have to put the clamp back into place. And we can get our extension, tighten that down, put our blanket on, and press down our negative. Now, positive can go back on, get our 10 millimeter. Tighten 
getting those back up. Back in the car. See all of these errors. Everything is sort of flashing and confused. Let's just see what happens if we try and start it. It starts. Got all of these errors. So we're gonna switch it off. Switch the ignition back on. Come across to our diagnostics. Set B8, so it's 15, 2015 upwards. Should be in hot functions. If I can remember rightly, yep, there we are. Battery. Amp. AGM battery manufacturer JCV, no it's not. Not too sure why it's asking this really. Battery serial number. We'll have to check that. Put that in there. I'm sure that only matters for a genuine VW battery anyway for the serial number. Okay, so we're gonna go back. It says that's done. If we go back in, it's telling us what battery it's got in there. Reason you need to put in the amp hours, and that is just so the computer knows how many amp hours the battery's got, how much charge it should be putting in, and all of that. Now we're going to go back and do a scan on the car. It's possibly going to trigger off loads of voltage related faults. Just so we can clear all of this, reset it. And that's all done, we can press a quick erase. Just gonna go through all of the faults there and just erase them. So we can come back to the speedo and switch the ignition off. Restart the car. Balls coming up. Go take it for a quick drive. Just to make sure everything's okay.
that's all okay so job here for today is done apart from the time that needs to be reset